Hey guys, good morning, LRJ here. It is raining outside, Jaden is sleeping right now, and I'm about to go downstairs and make myself a sandwich. Larry and Rudy. Guys, guess what? Jaden slept through the night for the first time in his crib last night. He slept for eight and a half hours straight. I can't believe it. That's incredible. So, it looks like he's gotten accustomed to his crib, thank God. Now I just have to work on him um, actually taking a nap during the day in here. Uh, yesterday, as I told you, was not that easy because he took like five cat naps, meaning he only slept between 10 to 30 minutes. I can't really get anything done if he doesn't sleep for more than an hour. Right now, since I breastfed, since I breastfed him, he's been sleeping for over an hour, which I was quite surprised about, so that's why I got some stuff done I went in I went and I washed the bottles I am about to go downstairs and make myself some lunch I have to really work on this diet thing it's only been like two weeks and I'm already failing but I'm trying to do what I can to make sure that he has enough nutrients when he nurses from me so that's what I'm gonna do right now so Jaden is still sleeping I'm sitting in his nursery should I call it his nursery or his room? I don't know, whatever. I'm sitting in here trying to not wake him up because I still have a lot of work to do. And I'm speaking to um, a prospective client who wants me to do a lookbook for her. I don't know when she wants me to do that, but I was just thinking about the fact that Jaden's three-month session is going to be coming up soon. And I feel so much pressure to make this epic. I'm a photographer and my son's milestone photos are coming up like... I have to make them look good because I'll actually be using his photos for marketing materials. So I was trying to figure out, he's going to be three months on the 27th of November. That means that it's going to be after Thanksgiving. So it's not going to be Thanksgiving themed, but Christmas themed. And I'm trying to figure out like what I should do um, in regards to like using props and stuff. I'm going to have to go on Pinterest and try to find some ideas and just buy some props and stuff like that but what did you guys what would you guys think it would be a good idea like I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about <laughs> he's not gonna be able to do much at three months except maybe um I'll probably photograph him on his tummy and on his back um I'd love to photograph him with no clothes on obviously not showing anything but I love to see cute baby butt cheeks and I love when the babies grab their toes and then they look at the camera i love that stuff um but it would have to be christmas themed i think and then we also need a family portrait there's so much that i need to think about for his three month session and i only have like a few weeks to do this but um i'm hoping he wakes up well am, am i hoping he wakes up soon i'm not even sure because i still have a long ways to go i have to do this um roster uh, that was supposed to be done months ago, but of course I was heavily pregnant then I had the son and I wasn't able to do it and I have to fill in 78 pictures of cadets and put their names as well and right now I have finished three six seven I have done 20 cadets so far and I have another 58 to go and it has taken me like two three hours just to do what I just did I am I feel like I'm never gonna finish this this is what it looks like and I need to get this done either today or early tomorrow so that I can order the poster and have it come in by Friday because my client has already paid for it and I need to make sure that I'm responsible I'm trying to take my photography to the next level because honestly I I was not my A-game before. I was just slacking off. But now, I'm a mother, I have a son, I have a child to feed, and I need to make sure that, especially since photography is basically my only source of income, I gotta make sure that I don't mess this up for myself. My marketing is gonna be on fleek next year. People are gonna be like, whoa, Larian has taken it to the next level, and people are gonna take notice, and hopefully good things come out of that. What's that Jaden's doing? Well, I put the thing in his hand because he wouldn't grab it. So I put his hand on it and now he's playing. 
Mommy was supposed to come over at 4 o'clock. It's 5.17 guys and she's still not here. I did purchase a P.O. box. So um, I wanted to go to the post office today to actually get the keys and everything and all the information. Pero, Jaden, are you okay? But um, she didn't come and uh, I think Rudy has to be there with me anyway. So hopefully we'll be able to try to do that this Saturday. Even though I do have a fashion shoot this Saturday. So I don't even know if I'll be able to go then with Rudy. <laughs> I'm glad I never gave up on that toy because he really wasn't feeling it. But yeah, guys, so we have a P.O. box now. Um, as soon as I get the information, I'm probably just going to make a separate video just so you guys can know. Because I know a lot of you don't watch the vlogs through. But Or maybe I'll just say it at the beginning of the next vlog. I don't know. Whatever. I'll figure it out. But either way, we have a P.O. box. And by the time this video goes up, hopefully the information will have been in the description. If it's not, then I'm sorry. Look who's here, guys. Yeah, man. If it isn't my baby daddy... <laughs> Trying to get um, Jaden to still play with the thing. Rudy showed me how to make the toy actually stand up, and I'm embarrassed because I thought I was doing it right. No, no, no. Play with your toys now. Play with them, they're for playing. <laughs> Your turn. Nope. You're smiling now. You had a bad dream, Jaden? Is that what happened? <laughs> That's what happened? Jaden was sleeping for like 45 minutes and then. So we came and got him, and he's gonna eat now. You're gonna eat! He's so smiley. I'm still working. I'm still working very hard, guys. Hopefully, Jaden sleeps after this. If he doesn't sleep, we're just gonna go downstairs and cook because uh, the, the pork has been taken out, and we're supposed to be cooking pork meatballs or something like that, dear, right? I don't know what to do. I don't know either. But well, hopefully it's really good. I'm not starving, but that's just because I've been working and when I work a lot, I don't really remember I'm hungry. That's a bad thing. We gave up on trying to make Jaden go to sleep. So now we are downstairs and we're gonna cook dinner. Let me see that. This is what it is. Pork meatballs and butter lettuce cups. So it looks like it's just pork balls and lettuce. Fun. and we are ready to eat here's what it looks like yumma dinner was absolutely delicious i felt like i was eating pork dumplings from pf chang's it was really yummy good job dear i had to put Jaden down in the middle of the cooking so and that's like 35 minutes so rudy did most of the cooking but anyway guys have you heard about i wanted to talk about two things but i'm only gonna do one today did you guys hear about um, Joshua Furstein and the Starbucks cup issue? Did you hear about that, dear? What did you hear? Um, that every year Starbucks usually does like a holiday cup. I think last year was like snowflakes or something like that. Um, and this year they just kept it plain and I guess a bunch of Christians are upset about it. And I just think that's silly because those symbols have nothing to do with Christianity at all. Yeah, I I thought it was silly because first of all, Starbucks is not, you know, some kind of Christian enterprise. Even if okay. they had some kind of Christian symbology, is that the word? Even if they did have that, um, they have the right to take it off because, you know, it's not like we are a Christian nation as everyone thinks we are. Um, there are other religions out there. Not saying that they're all right now, guys. I'm just saying that there are other religions out there. If they wanted to not have a Christian symbol, then they have the right to do that. But it's not like they did anyway. Now they chose to have a, a red cup. 
that's their problem. And I think it's just ridiculous. The that thing is, it's not even a problem. No, it's yeah, it's not, not a, a it's not an issue. I was like, I saw he, I saw the post on Facebook, and he was talking about um, Starbucks workers are not allowed to say Merry Christmas, and so you guys have to um, tell them that your name is Merry Christmas, which is a lie. He wants you to lie, guys. Um, tell them that your name is Merry Christmas, so that they're forced to write Merry Christmas on the cup or something like that. And Some, I was like, someone was just angry. Yeah. It was him. He started it. So now that ended up being broadcasted. Is that the word? On CNN and um, Good Morning America and all that stuff. And it just ma basically makes us Christians all look like idiots. Like we have nothing better to do than to argue about Starbucks stupid red cups. And I read an article about it. And the guy was seemingly a Christian, but he seemed very angry at the whole thing. So I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Basically, the whole thing started with anger. Yeah, the whole so. thing started with anger and it was really just blown out of proportion because this guy has millions of followers and this is what he wants his followers to do. Run into Starbucks and lie that their name is Merry Christmas so they can trick them into writing I, it on a cup. I saw a video today where someone was like, this is kind of silly because if you know that you're angry that they made a change and it's against your religion or whatever, why pay for more coffee yeah exactly give more business. why give starbucks more money and a lot of people commented on his video that he posted saying oh i don't usually give starbucks but i'm definitely I, I don't usually get starbucks but i'm definitely gonna go in starbucks and buy a coffee just so i can do that so starbucks made millions of dollars off all of these christians who wanted to <laughs> seriously um so yeah i was like let me check out his page now to see what's going on and guys the amount of hatred that people have posted in the comment sections on his pictures. I feel so bad. I feel really badly because I can see that, you know, the whole thing that he did was really silly. But people are being mean. People are, are being just very hateful and saying awful things because he ha he doesn't like abortion. Obviously, he's a Christian. He's against abortion. And um, someone commented and said, uh... Who thinks that Joshua Firstein should have been aborted? How can you say something like that? That's terrible. So, I just wanted to talk about that. I'm not sure why. But I just thought the whole thing was interesting. But still, even though we're angry, or we might feel like the whole thing is silly and it's making us look bad, let us remember still to be respectful. I don't think that any of you wonderful people would do anything like that on his Facebook page. But... Just be careful the way we talk about it and stuff because this guy, how many followers does he have? 1,878,687. And if you go to the comment section of all of his posts, everyone is basically bashing him. Every single comment. And that must be really tough for him. But that's all I wanted to talk about, Marinay. Did you want to talk about anything? Those, the two things? You said two things, right? I have another thing to talk about, but I'm not going to talk about it now. I'll probably save it for tomorrow. So, guys, um, are you hungry still? I'm hungry. Yeah, you, have, you have stuff you can grab. Yeah, so. I have to eat something because I just realized my stomach is empty. But um, we are going to watch an episode of Lost, just one tonight, because we both have work to do. And then I'm going to continue to work. I'm about like... 60% done about 65 and then I'll finally be done but I just wanted to thank you guys for watching the video give it a thumbs up if you liked it <clears throat> subscribe to us if you still haven't and we will see you next time bye Hi.